I've been a full-time reseller now for the last year and a half, and what that means is I'll go around to local thrift stores to try and find really low-cost items that I can sell for a very high profit on eBay. Thursday's my favorite day of the week. We go out to these local op shops to try and find some of the best items to sell. And we are already off to a flying start. I've been able to find this Eden Toys Paddington Bear plush toy. He's got 1981 written on the sole. I'll pay just the $3 for him in the thrift. This is the sort of stuff that we're looking for. Hopefully about 60 bucks on eBay for this guy here. It's gonna be a big day, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. Trip to the thrift, we are underway. Let's go back into the first op shop. I'll show you what else I picked up. Now, I'm a firm believer that the hats get slept on pretty heavily in the thrift by a lot of people, but not me. I'm always picking these things up. $3 for the Arizona Cardinals hat. This Cooper Mid Pale Ale as well. This should go for about $30 as well. We're talking $60 in hats here, and I've only paid the 7 bucks. Two really good finds. Hey, Instagram view of whole question here as well. Put it out to the community to get your thoughts on whether you would buy these for $30. Let me know in the comments below. They were in pretty much light new condition. Just don't know if I could spend $30 bucks for a pair of shoes in the thrift found these as well subo is the brand and they're only eight dollars which firstly caught my eye had a bit of a look into it and there were comps on ebay for 50 to 60 dollars mainly out of the us so we'll see how those ones go hey go through the clothing section as well found these for just five bucks levi strauss 312 shaping slims they're a 32 waist a 30 length and i reckon i can turn them into about 45 dollars guys i also found these ones as well the vulcan pants for five dollars it was the price point that interests me the most again 35 dollars for Free postage, I'm guessing, for these, considering the condition was so good. $7 for Ruka RVCA, a staple item I'm generally always picking up. But overall, guys, a number of items here, I'm pretty happy. One of the great starts to a trip to the thrift episode, guys. $45 has been spent, and I've got about eight great items there to list up onto eBay. So things are really kicking into gear. Very happy with the way we've been able to start. Hey, Instagram viewer poll question there. Those Nike Joy Rides, there were 30 bucks on those. They're in pretty much light new condition. I really am denied, but in the end, I actually went against the majority and uh, I left them on the shelf. I left them on the shelf because I put the e profit calculator onto them. It's just an app on my phone, and I whacked in the numbers. If I sold them for 70, on eBay, I would have only been able to get about a $22 profit. So when you think about it, you're putting in 30 bucks on a pair of shoes to only get a return of $22. I just don't think it's worth uh, worthwhile. I could put my money elsewhere. That 30 bucks can go into maybe three or four different items that can generate a whole heap more than $22. So that was my reasoning behind that one. Let's keep pushing. Offshot run number two. What a stat it's been so far. Now, for your convenience, I've already gone ahead and looked out all of the clothing that I've been able to find in this op shop. And the first one here is this Gold Coast Titans polo shirt, size medium. That 32.50 comp is my own from an item earlier this week. This one, though, brand new with tags. I should be able to do a little bit better. Got the Tommy Bahama pants here. Now, there's some pretty good comps on eBay for anything in the Tommy Bahama range if you're trying to sell a couple of clothes yourself. Uh, we're talking about 50 bucks for these pants, and I've only paid the $10. Um, Kuji. Kuji in the thrift for the very first time. I've never found this brand, but I've always been on the lookout for it because it is a bolo brand to be on the lookout for, guys. Um, now, this one was a great one, a size medium, I believe, a $7 purchase. I'm thinking about $50, but let me know. I am a bit of a rookie when it comes to selling Kuji, so let me know your thoughts. Uh, Saturday's New York City, again, a brand that I don't often find, but it is a pretty good one. I'm thinking maybe $25, something like that. Free postage, so not a hell of a lot of profit. Again, not a hell of a lot of profit on this one either. We've got the Hackabar Valley uh, Vulcan tee. I just like the look of the back print. Uh, I'm a bit of a snowboarding man myself, so that one really caught my eye. Um, so not too bad in the clothing section. Instagram viewer poll question though on this ladies size large Columbia winter jacket. Look, it's a $20 price point. That's my only deliberation. The condition is excellent. Uh, it's just whether or not to spend $20 on a single item of clothing. But I do think that the turnaround into about 70 or 80 bucks might be there. So I'm happy to go ahead with the purchase on this one. Um, we moved into a section of the hats. Now, I've actually not, uh, I don't come across too many hat finds, but this Pertec Racing was a really good one for $5. And it's got all the right sponsorship branding on the sides. I'm thinking about 30 bucks for that hat. Believe it or not, they do go well. Callaway Golf is a really good brand to be finding when you're in the thrift. And I've got the hat here. Should go into, again, another $30 for that one. I'm paying $5 for all of these hats. This electric hat, I wouldn't normally pick up, but it was brand new with tags. It's a very good time of year to be buying brand new with tags. $35 retail price. Uh, you'll see the St. Louise hat out the back there. That one, unfortunately, had a few holes in it, so I did have to pass on that one. And then these Under Armour shoes, they are just an entry-level Under Armour, but they are in good condition and they're only $10, so I should be able to turn that into about 40 bucks 
free postage. But all in all, guys, we've got some shoes, we've got a stack of hats for some reason, and uh, a heap of clothes. So it's been a pretty good second run. Oh boy, oh boy, guys, this is turning into a pretty big day. I've bought another 10 items here. I've spent $99 for the day now. It's 144 bucks. We've got 18 items, but I really do think they're actually good quality items that will all go on to profit really, really well. Hey, yeah, uh, that Columbia jacket was one of them as well in that 18. I, I picked it up. 20 bucks, a really unanimous decision there to go ahead and commit to the purchase. And I don't exactly know what the comps are. I just know when you see uh, winter jackets and, and the brand Columbia, you generally go ahead with the buyer, especially if it's around that $20 price point. So I'm hopeful going to turn that into about $80. Hopefully the comps that I'm uh, showing you guys are similar to around that $80 price point. I haven't yet checked my comps, but uh, I'm pretty confident with that one there. So, hey, we're only two runs down, 18 items already secured, $144 spent, but I'm not slowing up. We've got a lot more to purchase. So let's get into the third one. We'll see what we can grab there. So I'm going to kick things off in the shoe category, and I found this really nice colorway, uh, Puma running shoes. These are the Ignites, and I'll probably get about $40 free postage, not too bad off a $10 purchase. Um, also found these as well, the Nike Air Force One Instagram viewer poll question on these, $25. I thought it was a little bit steep, but these things do go on to sell well usually. It was just the soles that were a bit of a concern for me. I rated them about a 7 out of 10, so let me know what you would do with those. Uh, found these, these are the Levi Strauss 505 jean shorts and they actually sell. It goes for about 40 bucks. So I'm gonna try and push for that myself. Only paid the $5 for them in the thrift. Um, also found these as well. So this is a Ralph Lauren uh, polo shirt. Now, this was the Pima Soft Touch. So $8 here. It was just a really nice material. I should be able to go for about $35. Free postage with that one there. David Smith, what a great brand. If you guys are looking for clothing to sell, definitely pick up David Smith when you see it. Um, even the shorts, they should turn into about $35 bucks free postage. I paid the $8 for them. Offense, only a $4 purchase price on these offense. So how can you go wrong? Should be able to go into about $25 free postage. Just a very plain black pair of uh, casual shorts. And then the brand Metal Militia. I really like to find this brand. Generally goes on to sell well. Found an exact match on eBay. Um, you can get about 35 bucks for these. So a $4 purchase. Figures that, figured that was definitely worth the while. And then in the shoe section, we've got these Ugg boots as well. The sheepskin interiors. Uh, really, really nice pair. Hardly worn as well, these shoes. Just a $15 purchase price as well. So I think I can turn them into about 50 These are just should turn into about 60 or 70 to be honest they're a pair of pretty much brand new north wave cycling shoes so um, that was a great little grab there the shoes did really well in that run as did the clothing not too bad of a run so far the Nike Air Force Ones for 25 bucks. I mean, generally you can rely on turning those into about $70, but uh, it really did come down to the condition. I grade them about a seven out of 10, and unfortunately I just don't believe I could have got that top dollar of 70 if I tried to sell them on eBay. And therefore, there's not enough profit to go ahead with the purchase. The votes were really tight. They, um, to be honest, they didn't really persuade me. I was always gonna not say uh, yes to those shoes, but um, still, it's a really good quality shoe if you can find it in a little bit better condition than those ones there. So, um, passed on that one. 26 items secured so far today. We're up to a total of spend of $215. So, it's been a big day so far. We've got one more round to go and I feel like we're gonna end it on a really big high. So, let's dive into the last round and we'll see how we can finish it off. Now, I've had a bit of luck in the past with the IBM keyboards, and we've got a brand new one basically here, as new condition they're saying, and it does look that way. So I had a look on eBay for some comps, and uh, the best I could find was only $45. So for that reason, I did leave it back on the shelf. I found these Microsoft controllers as well, just a $4 price point. These look like they could be pretty good, but there was a little bit of rust there, as you can see on the cabling. So I put that one again back on the shelf. We've got an Instagram viewer poll question here, the Sketcher running shoes. $15 of a purchase price. Let me know what you would do with these. I am starting to sell the brand sketches quite a whole lot more with some really good success. So 15 bucks, let me know what you'd do there. Um, also found these as well, Merrells. Now $20 of a purchase price. I'm completely content with that because these are in light new condition and there is a recommended retail price hiding in there, $159.95. So some decent money to be made on those. You wouldn't believe it guys, but for the third time today, we are back in the hat section. This Wallabies hat, we've got the Tri-Nations Rugby Series. Embroidery on the back, the 2001 Bundaberg Rum Test Series. This is just an absolute ripping get for four bucks. 
Got the corduroy hat as well. Corduroy just seems to sell really well for me. This one is branded Billabong as well. So I was pretty happy to find that as well for four bucks. I'm shooting for $30 overall on all of these. If you're not aware of the Bunnings trade game, Bunnings merchandise just sells, guys. So get into it. I um, also found the San Francisco 49ers New Era Snapback Trucker hat for four bucks as well. So some unbelievable grabs in the hat section yet again. The North Face, you won't believe this, but let's show you this. Four bucks, unbelievable grab. That's just going to go and turn into some coin. And then the campus shoes as well. So what a way to win the day. So I ended up buying the sketches. I've just had some really good luck selling that brand over the last couple of weeks. So for $15, I've bought shoes for a whole lot more in the past. I think I'll be able to get the $50 return on those ones pretty easily. Um, that was an awesome run to finish the day. Another eight items. It brings us up to 34 for the day. I've spent a total of $286, an average cost of goods of $8.40 per item. Now, I can't believe how many hats were purchased today. It was just an unbelievable run. Um, really pumped to go back and get it all listed. Appreciate you being here. Another trip to the three video right here to check out if you're still looking for that thrift fix but i really do appreciate you guys sticking around and watching these videos they are a lot of fun to make we'll catch you in the next one see you soon